This weekend, third-ranked Alabama takes on number one Georgia for the SEC championship. The Crimson Tide is going for their sixth SEC championship in the last eight years. And to preview this year's matchup, I'm joined by former Alabama and NFL quarterback John Parker Wilson. JP, it's great to see you. Good to see you, man. Crazy. Six out of the last eight years. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. That it is. And before we get into that SEC championship game, I want to get your thoughts on the Iron Bowl. What a win for the Crimson Tide. The Alabama defense made some big plays when they had to, and the offense put together one of the greatest drives in Alabama football history. For you, sitting in the radio booth calling the game, how was it? It was, it was awesome. I mean, um, defense played great for the entire game and really had to pick up when our offense was struggling. And the way that Bryce Young and the offense came back to score the tying touchdown and then put it away in overtime, um, it was a team win. And it wasn't the prettiest game we've ever played, but you beat your rival on the road in an overtime game. Uh, that's all you can ask for. So I think we got some things to clean up going into Georgia. But this team's got to have some confidence going into the SEC championship, just knowing that, that they've found ways to win games, be it Arkansas or LSU, these tight games that aren't perfect. They've found ways to win. Now, Alabama owns a six-game win streak over the Georgia Bulldogs. That includes two SEC championship wins, a national championship victory, and last season's 41-24 win in Tuscaloosa. But it all started with the 2008 blackout game. JP, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with that one. You had a pretty huge performance in that win, 13-16, 205 yards and a touchdown. It kind of seems like that was one of the games that kind of helped kick off this Nick Saban era here at Alabama. Uh, I completely agree. It was um... – you know, my, my second year with Coach David, my senior year, that was a, another huge game for us. Underdogs on the road were able to get it done. And I think you're right. I think that, that team, um, you know, winning 12 games in the regular season and getting back to the SEC championship was pretty awesome. But, you know, Georgia, the blackout game was, was a big part of that. So fond memories for me. And uh, hopefully we can keep this winning streak going uh, Saturday against the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, in Alabama's 41-24 win last season, the Tide picked off Stetson Bennett three times, sacking him twice. This year, Bennett has guided the Bulldogs to the second highest scoring offense in the SEC behind Alabama, averaging almost 41 points per game. How have you seen Stetson Bennett improve from last year? And can the Tide defense disrupt him that way again like they did last year? Yeah, I think that's that's going to be the important thing is disrupting him because what Stetson Bennett is doing is taking care of the ball and spreading around to a lot of different people, be it um, running backs, tight ends are involved, multiple wide receivers. So it really puts a lot of stress on the defense that you've got to cover the entire field. You really can't key on, on key in on one person or even one position group because they've got everybody involved. And I think that's what Bennett's doing is, is he's got a lot of time to sit back there, take the defense apart, and be very efficient with his passing game. So I think you're right. The biggest key for us is going to be back there and disrupting him. And I think we do it uh, with the, uh, one of the best players in college football now. Will Anderson is getting pressure on him and, you know, the, the team circling around him and getting back there and affecting the quarterback. While Alabama leads the SEC in scoring offense, Georgia leads the nation in scoring defense, allowing just 6.9 points per game. That's less than a touchdown, JP. Something's going to have to give. How can the Alabama offense have success against this stout Georgia defense? Very stout defense, very stingy. Um, Kirby Stark's got to play with a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, and a lot of confidence. So I think Alabama's got to try to get out on the lead early, get up uh, and put some points on the board and, and make that Georgia um, offense hold serve. And for us this week, I think it's going to be a lot of, like a lot of SEC uh, tough games, SEC championships. Uh, it's going to be really one up front and then controlling the ball, keeping the ball, not turning it over. And and really, it's going to be up to the offensive line. These guys up front, they turned it, up, they turned it on in the third, fourth quarter last week against Auburn. And that's when you start seeing us put together some drives, finally put some points on the board and then finish it all in overtime. So this week, just like most weeks, it's going to be one up front. Well, thank you, JP. I appreciate it. And looking forward to a great SEC championship and win. And we're in for the college football playoff. I think it's going to be a fun game. Um, and I hope you're right. Win and you're in. And you can ask nothing more from Alabama. We can still control our own destiny. We still got a shot. Well, thanks, JP. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Kickoff for the SEC Championship is set for 3 o'clock on CBS. You can catch the radio broadcast with Eli Gold, John Parker, and the rest of the Crimson Tide Sports Network crew on the radio and RollTide.com beginning three hours before kickoff at noon. Reporting from the Crimson Tide Production Studio inside Bryant-Denny Stadium, I'm Christopher England with Tide TV.